There's a saying in biology to the effect that when two creatures make direct eye contact for more than three seconds, they're gonna do one of two things that begins with the letter F, fight or mate. <laughs> and this, is, this is a way in which humans, thankfully, I think, differ from our non-human cousins. Here's another way. When a peacock displays his feathers to a peahen, his purpose is singular. Peacock displays are a way of saying, hey, I'm this pretty and I'd like you to choose to mate with me. A peacock strutting his stuff is making an immodest proposition. This sort of transparent, unambiguous request for mating is the rule, not the exception in the animal kingdom. As peacocks strut, so do squirrels dance, frogs sing, and gorillas thump. Our species, in contrast, is an exception. We frequently make noises that are interpretable either as a sexual overture or, or quite possibly something asexually mundane, initiating potential mating with lines such as, do you come here often? <laughs> this is often followed by a relatively lengthy series of more or less ambiguous verbal thrusts and parries that would probably make a peacock roll its eyes in frustration. <laughs> Peacocks, like most of the rest of the animal kingdom, don't flirt. We understand their courtship and, ri and ritual relatively well. Why humans are so circumspect, however, remains a matter of scientific mystery, as in so much else, we understand other species better than our own. Thank you.